What is up guys again not the worst here bring another black desert online video and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for January 5th uh, first up we have this nice little letter here uh, from Jay Kim executive producer of black desert and we're not going to read through every line on it the gist of this is kind of just talking about um, you know how they focused on class reboots and what they looked for over the year in 2021 to be doing um, their excitement for the ball during the summer and how they changed from the roadmap format because of the ambition that it takes yada yada, yada that sort of thing whatever uh, other takeaways from this is that the arena of solaire is expected to be launched the last week of january coming up that is the pvp arenas ranked pvp arenas hopefully um, will come right out along with it and uh, i kind of expect we might see maybe a trial run before they start rankings just because typically works out that way but we'll see uh, they do talk about mountain of eternal winter here where it's more of a quality over quantity the size of it is actually smaller than Dre uh, smaller than dregan by a bit overall but they wanted big monster zones in it within the mountain area so um, that was mostly what they talk about there then they also throw some coupon codes at you here uh, if you got a new year's one to pick up a seven day value pack and seven day uh, blessings box there so definitely pick that up free stuff there for sure Moving on from there, if we look at the table of contents, we see that, oh, look at all these new improvements on characters. All of them, right? We got some stuff coming in. I know people have seen the Global Labs from last week. There's some buffs and things coming along. Well, these aren't those. <laughs> these are the Black Spirit Rage skills that uh, that were then adjusted, so that's not what we're getting in the patch. What we do get, however, is the 2021 winter season graduation has started, so if you want to get in on early graduation, you can do that. The requirements for it, uh, adventurers who haven't purchased Black Spirit's uh, uh, pass for it, have to complete the season pass challenges for it uh, if you did complete the if you did get the pass you have to collect those as well uh, and you must not have the fugars timepiece still you have to use that in order to be able to graduate from it the reward for this round of course you're going to get the gift box full of memories as is usual but it's going to be a 100 stack advice of alks there uh, once again like we got in the 2021 season if you haven't picked up any of these in the prior seasons and you want to uh, you absolutely can you can choose whichever reward you want to there. If you've already gotten them once, you cannot get them again. So you now have the option of two 100 stacks from the season plus to now the 2021 winter season. Um, other than that, nothing out of the ordinary from what we expect. Moving on into events, we have a Moments Frozen in Time event that's going. You can get some extra goodies here with the ice fishing that's going on, a winter exclusive event um, alongside your alpaca that has a limited time, a limited lifespan on him, rather. Uh, we've got Operation Dark Rift Dissipation. Uh, this is just black distortion earrings were added to Rift bosses. Uh, if you had them up prior to today, uh, they do still have the... Um, Distos added into their loot box, or rather into the box that you open. So you can get one. I actually did get one out of the four Rift bosses I had. Uh, so that was kind of nice, although they're actually on the marketplace instead of being constantly sold out, likely due to this event. We got to choose your awakened boss challenge, just staying logged in. You're going to get to choose from some different awakened boss scrolls awakened uh, um, Sonal, Dim Tree. Um, the normal stuff for that, uh, just staying logged in day to day. Then we have New Year, new login rewards. Obviously, the login rewards were completely out, so they have been refreshed, uh, and those are now set up for new ones. So, going into the character improvements, what we have about the Black Spirit Rage changes, and obviously I'm not going to read every single class's Black Spirit Rage skills. You know what they are. They all get this effect now, whether you use the 100% or the 200% Black Spirit Rage, using the skill itself, you're going to get the buff effect from it. So what does that mean? If you use the 100% Black Spirit Rage, you're going to get increased all P AP for 30 seconds, or excuse me, all AP by 30 for 60 seconds, and attack speed 25% for 60 seconds as well, as opposed to just using the Z buff, and you do the 200%, uh, that's going to be AP plus 50, and attack casting speed plus 40% for those 60 seconds as well. So that's then just listed in here and applied uh, all the way across the board to each of the classes. And they really did list them uh, all the way out. So uh, there you have that. Other than that, there's not a, a whole lot of stuff going on for this week outside of just the events. So let's jump over to the Pearl Shop, take a look at what we got going on. And actually, the Pearl Shop's a little light this week, too. Um, so first up, we've got the Snowflake Flurry 1, 2, and 3 setups for it. Uh, it's on sale for 1980 Pearls if you want to get that in there, just depending on uh, which set you need is what the 1, 2, and 3 are. New Year's Outfit Pack is 5,100 pearls. It'll get you two premium outfit packs, then a Wishful Pouch of Fortune and a 10% uh, apparel coupon along with that. The Triple Premium Pack is just what we always see at this point. 6,800 pearls for three premium outfits, a bonus of five artisans, a 30 stack, and three item drop scrolls alongside it. Fantastic Young Dragon Pack is back here. It's 1,750 pearls uh, to get the Dragon Pack, and it is an RNG set on what you're going to get. And it's kind of interesting. Um, the the ones that you do get set out of it the odds on it somebody posted them earlier it was something like two percent on the tier one black dragon you had a better chance of getting uh like a tier three or whatever it was tier four i think it might have even been was a higher chance um of the gold one than the, the black dragon which was 
I don't know. Interesting. Saw a clip of it. Anyways, New Year's pick of the litter pet uh, pet pack one and two. Seventeen fifty for uh, seventeen fifteen for that pack, and you pick. Uh, what you want out of the list given here. The Search Dog, Hedgehog, Polar Bear, Bows and Jack, Red Orc, Golem, Tree Spirit, Chimera, Centaur, Sarcoma, Sylvia, Brown Bear, and then Pick of the Litter 2 is the different types of Lynx or Wolf Pats there. Snow Light, Midnight, Twilight, Borum, Sylvian, or Shadow Wolf. You'll also get some uh, feed to go along with it, of course. Choose your costume pack, 1 and 2 on here um, is 45-20 pearls for 1 or 34-30 for the 2. New Year's Run Pack, 1 and 2, 975 on the 1. 44 46 on the two differentiation here the one pack is five mount skill change coupons then you get 25 rumbling earth and swaying shards one courser's aura and then the big pack there is 11 mount skill change coupons 400 crons Ch- uh, choose which type of dream horse material you want 20 of them then you get unbridled celerity draft uh extra mount xp scroll courser's aura and one mount all skill training coupon as well we got a 10 percent discount on family inventory slot and weight keep in mind by that saying family it actually means the family inventory not on your family but that'd be pretty dope if we just had a thing you could purchase for family weight total outside of the family inventory itself uh, and then the weekly outfit sale this week is the valkyrie orendo premium set for 27 20 pearls so there you have it for this week with the updates and pearl shop going on let me know what you guys think about what we have going on in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live and if you'd like to catch me playing live there's a link to my twitch page in the description down below you can jump on over there drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time Baby.